How to create and set up PayPal Business Account In this PayPal Business Account tutorial, you will learn how to sign up and set up your PayPal Business Account. So now without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. So first up, open up any browser on your smartphone, tablet, laptop and desktop and then search PayPal with your country name. Once you searched PayPal with your country's name, it will give the corresponded PayPal site to your country. So for example, if you are from UK, you could search PayPal UK and at the very top search results, you will get your destination PayPal website. And if you are from Germany, here you can search PayPal Germany and you will get the PayPal website that you are looking to create your beginner's account on. And if you are from United States, Australia and other countries, then search PayPal US, PayPal Australia and PayPal with the country name that you are from and you will get the exact PayPal site corresponded to your country. Now once you searched PayPal with your country, click on the PayPal site that appears at the very top search results. And you will be brought up to official homepage of PayPal. Now as you have to create a PayPal beginners account, here click on sign up. And here it is, as you can see, here we have individual account and business account option. And under individual account, here PayPal clarifies that you can only send payments with your PayPal individual account. But with a PayPal business account, you can not only send payments but also you can receive payments. And it is suitable for individuals who want to receive payments, sellers, freelancers and businesses. And also you can receive and send payments overseas. And actually there is no setup or maintenance fees according to PayPal. So now as you have to sign up for PayPal business account, here select on business account and then click on next. Now for security measure, let's click on this checkbox I am not a robot. And now let's solve this puzzle, let's select all the images with bridges. And then let's click on verify. Now here enter the email address that you will use to log in or sign in to your PayPal beginners account. And then click on submit. Now create a strong password which should be between 8 to 20 characters with an upper or lowercase character also with a number or symbol. After creating your password, click again on submit. Now here you need to describe your business, so click on business type and here you have individual, sole trader, partnership and corporation option. So if you own a business, you can select sole trader, partnership or corporation option. But as I don't have any registered business, here I'm gonna select individual. And guys, if you are from different countries, in some cases it might ask you to put business registration number, but actually that is optional. Even if you don't have any registered business, you can still create a PayPal business account as a freelancer. After selecting your business type, here select keywords of your product or service. And here we can choose from plenty of options. So here, let me select some relevant keywords. Here I'm gonna select this computer programming data processing. And then here select your purpose code. And guys, if you are from other countries, then you might not have this option on this page. But as I am from India, I need to select a purpose code. And actually PayPal clarifies that according to India regulations, you are required to add a reason for your payment which is also known as purpose code. And this will help the regulators to understand the exact nature of your cross-border transactions. So let me select the purpose code. And here we can choose from so many options. As I'm gonna be using my PayPal business account as a freelancer, here I'm gonna select this P0802 purpose code and it comes under software consultancy or implementation. So select the purpose code that is relevant to your works, services or businesses. After that, put your personal PAN number. So if you are from India, it will ask you to put your personal account number. So here let me put my PAN number real quick. And guys, if you are from different countries, then this might be different for your countries. You might not be required to put any government issued ID number. And if it acts so, then put your government issued ID number accordingly. After that, you need to write down a PayPal CC statement name. And this should be up to 11 alphanumeric characters. And this name will show on your customer card statements. So here, let me write down my customer card statement name real quick. Now if you have a website, here you can drop URL of your website and actually this option is optional. And as I don't have any website, here I'm gonna leave this field. And now let's click on submit. Now here you need to tell PayPal about your business. So here you need to enter the contact information for the owner of the business or the primary contact person for your PayPal business account. So first enter your first name and if you have a middle name, you can enter that here and it is optional and then write your legal last name. After that you can select your nationality, but as I am in PayPal India site, the nationality option has been automatically selected. Now under that, enter your date of birth. After that, you need to provide your primary contact address. So here first, put your postal or PIN code. Now under address line 1 and address line 2, write down your preferred address. 
Now after that select your town or city and then select your state. Now under the business information put down your primary contact phone number and also make sure your country code is right. After that select your primary currency. Here I'm gonna select US dollar as I'm gonna be receiving payments internationally. And then under that, you have to write down your beginner's address. But as my beginner's address is the same as the home address, here I'm gonna click on this checkbox. After that, click on agree and continue. Now you have to do some further setup for your PayPal beginner's account. So here select what do you do and you can choose more than one. So here I'm gonna select on offer a service and also I'm gonna select on other. And now let's click on next. And now here select how do you want to accept payments. Here I'm gonna select on all these three options on your site with an invoice and with a shareable payment link. And again let's click on next. Now finally here select what payment option do you want to offer customers. Here we have two options one of payment recurring payments. And here I'm gonna select on both. And then let's click on next. And again finally select what type of setup experience is best for you. And here you can pick whether you need a simple integration or one you can customize. And if you are not sure you can add a developer and you can let them handle it. So here I'm gonna select on a pre-built solution that doesn't require coding. And then let's click on next. And here are some tools to get started with your PayPal business account. And you can select the ones you want and they will help you set them up on your homepage. But as I can do it later let's click on next without any interference. And here it is, we have successfully created and set up a PayPal business account. And this is exactly how dashboard of a PayPal business account look like. Now after finishing all this setup, next thing for you is to verify your email address. So to confirm your PayPal email address, check mail inbox of the email address that you have recently created your business account with. And this is the confirmation mail I got from PayPal. And to confirm it, let's click on get started now. And actually we need to log in to confirm the email. So here put the password of your PayPal business account and then click on login. And there it is, your email address has been confirmed. Now let's click on continue. And now next thing for you is to link your bank account to your PayPal business account. And actually I have already made a video on this. You can watch this video here and also I will link this video in the description. And guys that's pretty much it is. That's how you can create and set up a PayPal business account. And if you found this video helpful then do me a big favor by hitting that like and subscribe button. And if you want to change the business name of your PayPal business account then watch this video and I will see you in the next one.